want to welcome you to another video this has been a total motivation i know i've said this so many times but this has been a motivation for my what i pack for my baby you guys have showed me so much support so much love on the video so i thought i should why not come back i may look a little bit tired bear with me i hope you like the content time check is half past six in the evening and it is cloudy the day was so good the lighting was so good but now it's not the same i hope it turns out good but anyway i just want to dive right into this video as you can see by the title the video is feeding utensils that have helped me in this journey of winning my baby from nursing to solids because right now she's in between the transitioning period so that's about like porridge mashed food and actual porridge so anyway let me just dive right into the video without further ado oh, and for the new subscribers you're welcome i am mira Mathison. i hope you enjoy and if you haven't turned on that notification bell please do and get notified every time i upload a new video and then if you're watching and you haven't subscribed please you know what to do it's fun over here let's just dive right into the video and if you're a tiny subscriber of course hello so much love for you well, let's just dive right into it if you see me look somewhere else just know i am looking at my notes and if i look at myself i have a screen camera so i look at my screen sometimes the lens and then my notes first things first is the fruit pacifiers these have been a game changer guys start with the best i never said the best for last now nah, that's not me so these are the these are the bad boys right here you literally just put in any fruit and my baby already is into pacifiers she's using pacifiers so yes this is game changer so you put in any fruit of your choice and feed your baby especially if they're just turned six months you just cut up everything so these have been a game changer look these up guys yeah so this food tray a little packs when you make your batch food for your baby mashed food or blended food for your baby you literally just drop in here i have two of them you can put probably like sweet potato and vegetables next so that every day you just take out of the freezer up at night before and thaw the two they are easily detached off so yeah can you imagine that you can easily detach off don't sleep on this this food tray is absolutely nice it's detached each one of these goes off this is a game changer i love it call it a food tray so every time i make a batch food for my baby i cook at least once a week every weekend i fill all these up i just wanted to say if you in the kitchen i know you already have some storage containers like this so yeah these containers are very useful especially these very small sizes you can always use them to store in your free they have been very helpful if the trays are not enough sometimes i cook a little more and yeah you can use these little storage the very small storage and then i will get into another thing which is when i buy food from the store especially when i'm on the road i will buy these foods that are in this container usually i only use this when i'm on the road or i'm away from home these containers are really good what i do is i wash it after use and then i literally just when i make food for my baby i just put right in here i i can put anything uh, from sweet potato vegetables i don't throw these so i have quite a number of these every time i use i don't throw i just reuse them hack, hack, hack. let's move on to dishes that i have for her the first one is this dish it's called the first baby food set it comes as a set this is what i use in the morning for her porridge it's just a little small bowl i kind of like semi feel it i don't really feel it but i almost feel it that's when i know this is her quantity she usually takes if she takes less then i know she hasn't fed like she usually does if she finishes it then i know yep we are on to that so that comes in a set i mean you can buy it by itself but i bought a set there's an option to buy a set online it came as a food set of this and a little tiny spoon and a cup this is a set it came as a set it has all oh, these spoons are really good they are not too big for the mouth and they're so point they're a little pointy they really fit so good and when the food is really properly mashed and it's thick properly not this watery food but when it's really thick in a good way this really knows how to scoop it and it is good for the baby's mouth yeah, it's still gone because it you see i can literally bend everything the cup too and they have a good grip to it so when i give her water in this she kind of has like a, a, a grip but of course i grab it really fast okay just like this moving to the next and this i bought in sets as well this is it this i like to use for lunchtime that i like to use for breakfast for her porridge and this i like to use for her lunchtime because i cook different kinds of food so i can put like sweet potato or uh, mashed um, irish potato and meat and 
then I put like some vegetables. So I portion her food like that. And yeah, she eats a variety and still it's silicone. It came as a set. You can buy on its own, I guess. There's a, yeah, there's an option if you want. It came as a set. Again, those spoons. This is a much bigger spoon. So this one I like to use for her vegetables and this one for her, yeah, you see they're different in size. So this I like to use for her vegetables and this one I like to use for her food food. Depending on what she's eating that. Yeah, I have this big bowl. She hasn't started using this one. I'll use the other one, the first one for fruit and then this can be her main bowl, cereal or something like that. So this I haven't really used it but I plan on using it when she's a little bigger. I haven't. But when she starts to eat a little bit more, I can also use it for porridge in the mornings but this is too big really for a six months so I'm still using the other one. So yeah, this is also one of the tools. You can tell the difference in size this is a fast baby and then this is yeah you can tell the difference this and this yeah there yeah, there's a little bit smaller and bigger I really really love this I have the beads you saw in my previous video guys if you haven't checked out my previous video please go ahead and check it out I will give you time I am still here just pause and go check it out right here just go it's uh what i pack for my six months for a road trip i mentioned one of these i take them with me obviously because they're good when the baby eats i love them and i have another one which is much better uh, it's dirty so i bought one hard one i think this she will enjoy more when she's a little bigger and i have this one with the softer silicone is much better i bought the other ones but i found they were very a little bit angle but this is so good the silicone is much softer so it goes in her neck so well and again it has that pocket it's really a nice one i, don't know. I hope you guys can see if I'm too bright, I apologize in advance. Mm -hmm. Then next, we're still about the dishes. This is another bowl. This was my last buy. Yeah, I love it. It has a suction thing. Oh, the other ones have suction too. When you place them, they don't move. So in case they're kicking and stuff, they're stuck on their chair. No, they don't move. So yeah, this is the bowl and it has like grip things in case it, it, you put it in the microwave and it's hot. Good. It's good to grab onto really well. And then the spoons, I really like to use this with her porridge because the difference with these, they don't have like that, mm -hmm, that arch they're not deep these ones are deep they're good to school this is literally for just mash food this is good for food and this is good for porridge i like to use this for porridge in the morning and then this for her food that makes it the bowl when i pull back and see the bowl and then these spoons i think i have quite a number of them yeah. next i have a pump again i mentioned it in my previous video if you haven't watched please go check it out yeah this pump is a manual middle pump i must say not sponsored it is a really good one i pump in the night sometimes or in the evening when she's sleeping like now when she's done for the day i pump and then what i pump for that night uh yeah, i use it the next day to mix with her porridge so i don't use water sometimes i use water if i didn't pump the previous evening or night but i usually use that milk to mix with her porridge in the morning this pump is good uh, you can carry it it's super duper portable size you can carry it in your um in your mama bag or so has helped me while weaning of course i used it from the beginning when she was a newborn but again i find it is very helpful when i pump in the evenings that milk i use to mix her porridge and then we move on to the next is her baby chair i will put a picture right here yes her dining chair yeah obviously that comes in handy it's adjustable and it moves up and down i'll make i will try to start in a video of how adjustable it is it is adjusted high down and laid back and straight so yeah it's very good when i'm now feeding seriously feeding and she sits up straight though she's not yet firm with her sitting but again she sits up straight so yeah that helps me a lot and then i was contemplating on buying a food processor but i was like you know what why am i buying all these and she's going to use them for only three months or even less until she is doing her solid so i was like why am i buying this food processor spending all this money yet i have some of the things in my kitchen that i can actually use to make my baby's food to the next i have this this is my vegetable steamer it has many compartments i can put anything i will rearrange it for you and be right back this is it. This is how it looks when it's arranged. See, it has different compartments. You can put in different kinds of vegetables, fish, broccoli. You can put different kinds of vegetables or different kinds of things and steam your things. I already had this in my kitchen and I'm like, wait, a food processor steams. I have already a steamer in my kitchen. So why do I have to do this? So I'm like, of course, I will use what I have in the kitchen. I decided at last I'm not going to buy a food processor. I already have a steamer next my blender this i bought so many years ago about four years ago now guess what's blending my baby's food and what i love about this blender obviously this is not sponsored but it's a really cool one it's a ninja it has ultra blend right here oh 
so good so right here you can see it has an ultra blend and then it has a normal blend so this one when you have like ice really hard stuff you use this option and it it will blend on its own for one minute so i always use this setting for ultra blend so that the food is really fine she doesn't have lumps in her food it helps her enjoy her food when it's very fine those two the steamer and the blender literally make up the food processor and i was like wait what wait why am i buying a food processor because a food processor does the same thing some of them warm as well i have warm in my kitchen so what's the point so i was like no i am not buying that so yeah i was like no i'm not buying a food processor some of these things you just have to think and then you have substitutes in your kitchen i'm taking my notes we mentioned a fruit pacifier a food tray dining chair bottles oh baby bottles i will show you the bottles i'm using so i have different kinds of bottles i use medela with my pump this is what i use I use this one to feed her. Really doesn't like bottles. We're still trying to make her new bottles. So these are the types of bottles. This is what I've been using at the moment. I said I have bottles, a pump, and a veggie steamer, a blender. You don't even have this food steamer. You can boil in a stove or in a cooker. You can just put your veggies and boil. And keep collecting all these buy because you need but sometimes you have the substitutes in your kitchen that you can use i thought i'm like why buy this and collect so many things and at the end of the day i'm only using for only three months you know, with babies you have to think like that you have to think ahead before you buy something think ahead like how long is it gonna last me because when i'm buying everything for my baby i'm always keen on like how long is it gonna last me i will take something for one year and above and even her clothes i don't want something that will last me just a few months and then i have to throw away her clothes maybe in the beginning as a newborn or Obviously, I couldn't compromise with that, but now I buy smarter. So when you're buying, buy smart. Think ahead. Don't just buy for that period of time. I said I have yeah, small jars. Don't forget the small jars. They really help. Or whatever jars or whatever small containers you have in your kitchen, they will help you to portion your food when you cook. Because when you put in a large container and then when you defrost and then you have to put back in the when you defrost, how it's not good to put it back in the freezer. So better you store in these small jars. It helps you portion your baby's food, and they're much much easier to store anyway i cannot forget to mention my favorite goodies well this will be will be a little festive christmasy but anyways i got them because they were a little cheaper than the other ones that were not christmasy they, were, they came in a pack of four so yeah i decided to buy them why not i mean it's about the purpose not what is written on there the quality here is like a towel but you can easily wash it and it dries real quick that's what i look for something that dries really real quick and what's very interesting is behind here it's like plastic it doesn't go through it's when the baby eats it will not go to the clothes then one of my favorites as well it is water butter i didn't mention it earlier it has measurements on here to keep track of your baby's water intake in the day and then what i love the most it has a really good grip it has like some little stoppers right here so it gives a baby a really good grip when they are at that stage of holding their own uh, butter she's six months now she can literally hold this by herself and then it has this is really tight if you give it to her and it's closed it's really really super tight even i struggled to open it and then when you come on here when there's water look it's like leak proof it doesn't leak that easy which i love because she has to really suckle for her to get the water out and if she's playing with the bottle that means the water does not leak unless it's like really vigorous when i do this it's vigorously just a little bit but otherwise it's a really good one these are one of the winning products that are really essential that i really love can come in handy when you're winning your baby good grip again and then this part here is silicone it's not plastic when your baby's teething my baby likes to play around with this she plays with it it does a squeaky noise with her gum her teeth have not yet out so when she's playing with them on with her gums this place this part is really squeaky so she likes to play with it every time after the meal when i give her some water after i give her to play with her bottle and then she plays around with this squeaky part so yeah those are the products that i thought i should mention they're really essential in winning your baby because at six months your baby is drinking some water Ooh, these are all leak proof also during the day if you decide to wash it over and over like over in between the meals it dries fast because it, it gets so airy very fast you can see like it's a kind of like a see-through that is what i had today for my baby's utensils this is what i'm using completely and i think i am super duper comfortable i am not looking much for anything else because i know this is going to last me only three months so i don't want to get more things for now i think this is helping me i not need many more this is it for me for transitioning my baby between nursing and solids so it's just helping me in my transition 
transition process and i found them very helpful i hope you liked the video let me know what you think about this or what did you use for your baby is there something that i missed i probably could have missed something like i said i am a new mom as well um it's a new journey for me i'm navigating myself around this journey so yes i'm learning a lot on the internet from other moms so yeah just let me know how you are doing this feeding of yours for your baby and what did you find that you liked in what i so said anyways without further ado i just want to say thank you again if you have watched my video up to this far thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was very helpful all i want to is be helpful to one person just one person i remember when i was just starting out to be a mom i was literally reading everything online youtube was just like my teacher so i was watching everything on youtube other youtubers who have documented their journey this is super duper helpful i'm like well i can do the same because every baby is different just like my baby doesn't use bottles someone else is using them anyways i just thought i should document this it could help somebody out there and if you are a feeding mom or a winning mom at the moment i just want to say hello i hope you're doing well your baby's feeding well i hope everything is going fine and let me know what you guys are using different what did i buy different that or what did i do different that you think yeah this would work for you or what you think wouldn't work for you anyways so depending on the location i still say these are the things you would get in the store even in uganda these are their manual pump um blenders there's these veggie steamers there these feeding tools like everything is there dining chairs for babies these are things you will find they may not be the same in brands but they're the same things so anyways for me and mine i hope you like the video let me know in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed you know what to do you know what to do yeah. i'll see you on my next video thanks for watching mm -hmm. bye